Starting my work, specifically the narrative part of my video series, I often confront a question to which I don't always find an answer. That is, when crafting makeup, what am I aiming for? What message do I intend to convey in each particular video? To be honest, the answers vary widely. They range from the classic, I am an artist, this is how I perceive it, to a bespoke selection of products and makeup techniques showcasing my creativity and someone's dream. I can assure you, I never intend to make a drastic transformation like the before and after type. That's not what I'm about. The outcome is undeniably important. However, I find myself more captivated by the process itself, its creative essence, especially during the filming. The makeup comes to life, resembling vlog de lace, crafted from the tiniest details, a blend of techniques and application methods that not only delves deep into my consciousness, but often lets me visually manifest inner fantasies. It supports me on the perpetual journey of self-assertion and the quest for the elusive ideal of female beauty, which is inherently complex and unique to each. Today, my model, let's say in her prime years, primarily uses mascara. Perhaps a lip balm, and I'm not even sure it's tinted transforming her into a diva in the style of Donatella or a theatrical goddess is certainly feasible. But why? Just to indulge my creative ego and claim my spot in the makeup pantheon? That's one way to look at it. The question is, does she really need it? From what I gather, it's not in her style or character. She doesn't need all that glamorous fuss. It doesn't suit her lifestyle or social circle. What she likely needs is an understanding of how to apply basic products in her day-to-day -day life. Perhaps with a few options for utilizing her makeup bag's contents. You'd agree, it's a perfectly reasonable desire, which is essentially what I do on camera. Speaking of which, on camera. I managed to nail the look with Givenchy shadows, and it's time to create my signature smoky eye using the Estrada palette. And, for those interested in every product used in this makeup, I'll make sure to include a cheat sheet in this video's description. I doubt my model will be using a plethora of eyebrow pencils, but a durable setting gel from Balor Design will be just the right touch for those majestic brows. For such a light, almost ethereal eye makeup, black Kyle mascaras are essential. Mascara by Dolce & Gabbana, Kayal by Romanova Makeup. Before outlining the lips, it's always wise to moisturize them with a balm, which I do using a chapstick product. Then, with a Luxe Visage pencil, I don't so much draw as gently define the natural lip contour, adding a classic touch. And of course, despite the natural look of this makeup, a light veil from Guerlain will do wonders. The key is to apply the powder lightly and meticulously. Jeffree Star's lip gloss in fuchsia shade doesn't intimidate me in the slightest. I adore vivid, highly pigmented products because it's always possible to tone down a bright shade, but doing the opposite can be challenging, as you can see on camera. This video is my visual testament that makeup mirrors life, not just a fanciful theme. Good luck and may you achieve stunning makeups.